are back here on Lines on Design. We are having a wonderful time today talking about color and as though color it was, yes we it's have color all about color and we're talking about color as it relates both psychologically mm -hmm. to our health and wellness and also color as it just relates to things that we love they're pretty right we're here with susan at hilton head kitchen and bath and we always love coming here because we can talk about trends mm -hmm. what we're seeing in the world of cabinetry backsplashes, all of that. So we thought it perfect. We talked about paint first. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to talk about cabinets and, and how color can impact how a cabinet looks, um, the style and motif, mm -hmm. and again, what, what you're seeing. I loved, I loved it. We walked in and she said, it's all about White, white. Mm -hmm. Speaking of color, yes. It's a, the ultimate about, neutral, but that really is what we're selling. I was going to say, are you doing quite a bit of that? I would say 75% of all the kitchens we did last year were white shaker style cabinets. Ah, so like this. Absolutely. Why painted you, painted white. Okay. Why do mm -hmm. you think white is the ultimate cabinet color? Because I have a, uh, an opinion on that. Well, white has never really went out of style here on Hilton Head. Okay. I mean, it just hasn't from, you know, back in the 80s and 90s when everybody was doing the white thermofoil to mm -hmm. this new clean line look. You know, it represents cleanliness and freshness, mm -hmm. and it's kind of a casual color, and people move to the beach, and they don't want to do the dark cabinetry anymore. They do the white, which is also the ultimate neutral, so that they can combine it then with anything that they want in terms of paint mm -hmm. color, flooring, backsplash, hardware. And it's also very transitional to a okay. great degree. And go. certainly Talking when it's about. combined mm -hmm. with the shaker door style, mm -hmm. you have a really transitional look. What's been fun is every time I come in to Hilton Head Kitchen and Bath with Susan, I always look I always look at the right, this mm -hmm. wall. It What's matches new? you today. But mm -hmm. since, I, since in the past year, it's probably been six different colors. And I think that's a testimonial mm -hmm. to the fact that you can take a white cabinet, mm -hmm. okay, simple white cabinet, and you can pop it. That's right. You can make it subtle. Mm -hmm. You can change it with everything. So I really agree. I really, I like the look of a white cabinet. Mm -hmm. I think you can't go wrong. And like you said, it, uh, it's very classic. Very classic. It sort of defies it's time. It's timeless. Now, let's talk a little bit about what we talked about on the phone the other day. She was very interested in the Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> It's and not I, me. Yeah. You brought that up. <laughs> now, now, let's just say. Okay, okay. Yes, but it was someone else. Right, yeah, exactly. Hypothetically, our Hypothetically. sister was asking. But gray is a huge trend right mm -hmm. now. There's no question about it. And that's really the only other play other than the white that we're getting. And we're getting more and more people asking about it and also combining it with the whites. And there are not yeah. quite 50 shades of gray, but there are a lot of different shades of gray. Well, that's what we thought might be fun to show mm -hmm. everyone. You know, talking about the impact of color. You know, we're this has talking been very popular. Yeah, we're talking about gray and take a look at these different shades of gray. First of all, let's talk about this one. This one is probably our most popular because it is a neutral gray. Okay. You know, there's some brown going on here. It's not a gray that's going to lean towards blues, which a mm -hmm. lot of times people just will have kind of an adverse reaction to. It's not a cool gray. It's very warm. So this one, this one plays well for that reason. And juxtaposition to that is this cool gray, which actually against here plays very blue. Beautiful But can together. often look like a, a terrific blue gray mm -hmm. or a wonderful accent piece also. Exactly. So I really like that too. I'm gonna reach over here and grab this. Cause I think this is a pretty gray, Susie. Talk to us it about is, this It is, and one. this is a painted versus a stained ah. uh, gray, which is a light neutral gray also. Mm -hmm. Combines very, very well with a super dark in the event that you want to do a two-tone. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, also right now, everybody's wanting the light, light countertops. So in the event you want a light countertop, like with a white background That's or with a- That's cue. Hold with, on. With the marble, for hold, instance. Okay, hold on. With the marble, for instance. Then maybe you don't want to do white on white. So the gray gives you a little bit more tone mm -hmm. uh, to to put with it so that you don't have a blasted white, white floating kitchen. You know, the, the gray helps anchor it just a little bit. This is All right, I'm going to be your van, and here's the marble you're talking about. Look at this. Yeah, that's a beautiful, classic combination. Very, very clean. Mm -hmm. I love this look. And you know, I'm learning more and more. I used to be afraid of marble in the kitchen. I'm not so much mm -hmm. anymore. Well, they have super sealers out there now that take a little bit of the panic away. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. And also, um, you do have to be careful with them still. You know, the stone manufacturers, and, and even in the quartz, want you to be cognizant that if you're a red wine drinker, you need to wipe up that spill. 
Really? really with the quartz, too? Well, it just never hurts, put it that way. Okay. You know, it, you, you take that off the table a little bit with the quartz because they do have that resin in them mm -hmm. that binds them and, and it takes away a lot of the porosity. But common sense will tell you that you don't want to leave ravioli, you know, smeared on a white countertop. There is time. that. There is that. And, you know, talking about some of the ways that we can use grays, many of us are doing um, renovations. And, mm -hmm. uh, and up until 2000, everything had a lot of golden undertones. They were the, more the oak, exactly. right? So now we still have that combination. In fact, we're talking about doing a house right now where we've got beautiful travertine that's on mm -hmm. the floor. We don't want to change it out. Mm -hmm. But we really want to go to some of the neutral, some of the more gray colors. Mm -hmm. So the challenge for... Uh, Susie and I was to, were to come up with um, a palette where we could add the new gray neutral, right. but keep the travertine floor and make it all pull together. Transition and, into a newer look. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of what we're thinking. And I love it because, again, the taupe. You, ha you have some beiges in here. You have some of the taupey color that will tie in the floor nicely. Correct. I love and, it. And we see that a lot. You know, Hilton had um, several years back, everybody wanted the nice travertine floors and they're gorgeous and they're timeless and you certainly don't want to rip them all out and start over. So you have right. to find ways to work for it, work with them. So a lot of the tile manufacturers and certainly the countertop manufacturers are, ha are uh, finding a lot of stones out there or creating a lot of stones <laughs> yeah. that have both of the tones to them so that you can transition from one to the other. And we see that a lot also in bathrooms mm. where you want the new shiny master bath and maybe you want it in the grays and the whites, but you know you're transitioning out to new beige carpet, mm -hmm. you know, so you need something that makes those work together, and, and you can certainly find those. And again, I, I think that's, that again, that's all about color. You mm -hmm. don't recognize how much color has an impact on your life. Um, this rain wash, we were talking about this gray, this kind of gray blue, but that's I wanted, yeah, color you, here. you said you had a... Well, we've, we've done this color so many times here. It's kind of an Goodness. island blue, kind of a favorite. And uh, in conjunction with this darker aqua color. Look at that. And it's just a beautiful combination. But, you know, these, these types of aqua colors and the blues always work well at the beach, and they really never go out of style here. And, and again, very, very can, classy ways to put them together. There really are a splash of color and an accent mm -hmm. really can add a pop and a zip mm -hmm. to something that looks classic or very neutral. That's right. You and I are pop of color people. Doesn't scare us. Does no, it, it does right. not scare us. Right. What are you seeing besides the whites and the grays? Are you seeing a lot of colors? For pups or? of color? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, right now we haven't done any cabinetry, but certainly in design world, coral is hot, hot, hot. And okay. you're seeing a lot of that in wall coverings and paint colors and uh, upholstered pieces. And that always plays well at the beach, too. Coral's great. Exactly. Coral's great. Aqua, like you're wearing, yeah, never we goes both out of style are. here at the beach. So those are fun colors to play with. And they work well with the whites as well as the gray as a neutral behind them. And one of the other things that I'm seeing a lot in design is let's say we do have our very classic cabinetry, but we also have an island. Mm -hmm. And I know this is something that you've encouraged me to do. And when we talk about being afraid of color, being Susan color. is like, don't be afraid of color, especially for an accent piece of mm -hmm. furniture. Mm -hmm. And if you have a large island that gets a lot of use. This is a great way exactly. to kind of zip up that area. And some of the greens, uh, a lot of the more grounded people, they tell me, love the green tones. So oh, exactly. It's also fun on Hilton Head, and it's a very natural color in anything that's green these days, we love. So you can do some fun things with some greens, and they always work as a second color, too. There's always a shade of green that's going to work with the shade of white or the shade of gray that you've, that you've found. So just another fun way to play with it. Let me ask you a question. A kitchen's the main place that we've been talking about. You did mention bathrooms. When we're talking about doing master baths or guest baths. Is that an area where you encourage people to kind of step out of their box or their a little paradigm shift, if you will? Oh, absolutely. That's a fun way to play, uh, play with things. And certainly on Hilton Head, one thing that we always keep in mind is resale. Mm -hmm. And if you do a white kitchen, uh, you know, you're good for resale because white kitchens sell, but you want to pop a color somewhere and you can do those in especially the, we'll say the lesser baths mm -hmm. uh, that the kids are going to love and it might actually become a selling feature if someone really, really loves it. Whereas it's not going to be a deal breaker to turn someone off if you've went in there and painted the little girl's bathroom fuchsia. And, you know, in talking about cabinet, it, cabinets, and one of the things I'm still learning, Susan, is there are different kinds of cabinetry. There are different ways to when cost is no object or if you want to be more cost effective. Can you talk us through a couple of different kinds of cabinets? Now, I know this is heavy. 
That's a thermofoil product, actually. And you're right, it is heavy. It's I'm probably even a little heavier than, mm -hmm. than wood. Uh, and not only here do you have the opportunity to use some fun colors, but you've got nice textures going on that well, you don't necessarily get in wood. What is a thermofoil door, and how is it different than wood? Uh, it is not a full wood product. Mm -hmm. It is a solid core product, and okay. for uh, purposes of... Um, more technical terms, they essentially take the substrate that they've created and shrink wrapped it on there. So it's mm -hmm. a heat sealed type of product. I was just going to say here where there's salt water and all the humidity. Humidity I'm, doesn't affect them. Yeah, as you, much. and from a price point, are they a bit more reasonable than a solid wood door? Uh, they can be cheaper than a wood door, certainly, or you can go high end with some of these more exotic mm -hmm. looking things that are about the same cost as a wood door. And today, what we're finding is people aren't as concerned with the actual product, the substrate that it is so much as am I getting the look that I want. Well, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and as always, it's such a treat to have you here. I think we always learn about the trends well, for what's you. going on with kitchens, with baths, and today with color. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining us here on Lines on Design. Have a great week. Who are you? If you've ever wondered if mood and color and emotion are connected, just think about this. Have you ever seen red? Have you ever felt blue? Have you ever been green with envy? Actually, color affects us on many levels. First, there are just colors that feel good to you. So interpersonally, you just love them. Second, there are colors that are social or cultural. For example, our flag, red, white, and blue. It's the color of a stop sign, the color of a yield sign. A fire truck, for example, that's an ex that is how color can really affect us on that level. And the third thing that color does is it actually impacts our automatic systems. For example, red can raise your heartbeat. Yellow is very stimulating and irritating. Green can be very calming as can blue. So color, if you ever want to change your mood or feel better and you're in your home, Try swapping out fabrics, change your pillows, rearrange your furniture. Find some pops of color that may affect your whole interior motif and your mood.